Welcome, Admirals, to another tutorial that I decided to make, and this is um, a, an advanced crew selection tutorial. Um, as you can see, um, it's it's not going to be. I'm not going to be able to show everything. I'll explain everything, though. Um, as you can see, I've taken away all the officers from all of my warships. Okay and I'm going to be replacing them. Now what happens, what, now what I normally do is when I bring in a new ship, okay, especially if it has, say, like four officers, okay, I take away all of my officers, I take them all away, and then I start from scratch, and I re recrew my ships. All right, so let's, let's, let me show you how I do that, okay? It's pretty easy. I just start, first of all, all of these guys need captains, and the captain is the most important guy on the ship. So, when you click on there, okay, what's going to happen is it's going to give you a list of officers, okay? And what I failed to mention in my first tutorial was that the best officer will always be listed first, okay? So, it's a no-brainer. You just go first officer upgrade, okay? hit this guy, the first officer right there, upgrade. The guy at the top of the list is going to be your best officer for that, um, that position. That's a part of the interface that they've done very well, okay? Y you don't even have to think about it, all right? And you just go through and you just take the best officer. Now you see, now let's take a look at this guy. Let's, 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 let's cancel that, okay? Okay, now look here. Okay, now this guy's got 73, okay? So we're talking about efficiency here. He's got 73, okay, which is better than 56. But the way that I've come to look at it is what I do is, is when I, d if there is a discrepancy, you know, if you think, well, maybe this guy is better than the other guy, you know? What I do is I add the two numbers together. So, for example, this is 56 and 46, so that's 102, right? 102. And when I look at, at this guy, who's 75, 75 and 23, that's 98. So 102 wins. Okay? That's how I do it. Okay, so if there's, if, if, if there's, and this is going to happen, you'll be running into this kind of situation as you get down the list. But, um, but um, in general, that guy at the top of the list, he's the guy who needs to go, who needs to go there, okay? And you just, and I just keep going across, and I just keep putting in my captains. First, I do my captains. Okay, so now, what's going on? I've got ships here with three officers, and ships here with four officers, okay? As you can see. All right, now, um, your sailing officer, this is, this is the sailing officer. It's a very important officer, okay? He's a very important officer because if we remember, okay, that sailing affects not only the, the you know, how well the, the ship sails, of course, you know, and, and you know, the rigging and, and being able to change your course and so forth, but it also includes um, modular repair, firefighting, and water pumping handling. So if you get into a battle, Okay, and you start taking damage. Okay, you the higher your sailing is, the better for your crew, which means the faster they're going to be able to do their jobs in uh, damage control. So sailing, in my opinion, is one of the most important um, characteristics um, that you can have. And I think in general, what you're seeing here is that these are pretty much listed in order as well as to what is really important okay so so now we're going to do the same thing and and you can see here you know 66 is okay so this guy goes right in there this guy top one goes right in there okay it's real easy you think oh having to do all my officers again well you know it depends you know i mean if you have if you want you want you know overall good officers in your ships well then you're going to have to do that and so now what i do is is um is there comes a point where i say okay i'm you know i don't want anybody let's just say for example f less than 40 
Okay, so at that point, when I run into this officer who has only 39, what I then do is I scroll down. I scroll down. These are all my officers. I scroll down. Um, I scroll down to the recruits. And you see, this guy's got 36. So the best I've got that I can buy is 36. So anybody above 36 is good. Okay, that, you know, I, that's the way I do that. I, I, ch I check that out. 36. So 36. Where are we here? 36. 36. Okay, so now we're starting to get. Okay, uh, I'm going to. I do the, the guys with the most officers first. That's four there. He has three. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So now the double officers, I kind of wait till last. Okay. So next, I do this, guys. 79. And by doing it this way, these really good ships, you make sure have really good officers, okay? 42. Upgrade. Now, the thing about it is, like I say, I'm always looking at a limit. And um, once it's the, the numbers start to get too low, then I start looking at the recruits to see if there's anybody in there. Unfortunately, I've already done this. This is just, I'm just redoing this so I can show you how I do it. Um, and um, and I already went ahead and I bought what, uh, all the best officers that I needed. So there are, you won't be seeing me buy any officers, especially since I have 386 there. But um, these are the best that I um, I've, uh, that you can have. Okay, so so now we've all, now we've done all the single officers, right? The guys with basically with single with the exception of the captains, first the captains, then all the guys with just a single trait, and now. Now I'm after the guys with dual traits. Okay. All right. So. All right. So, but at the same time, what I'm doing. Okay. So now you say, okay. So, so do I do this guy first? No, I don't. Okay. I do because now he's down to one officer. Okay. So I check my other ships. Okay, and this guy, he needs two officers, so he's he becomes my next priority, this ship and this ship. So this ship here is going to get that guy, the best one there, and this ship here is going to get that guy, the best ship there, because they need good officers because they're controlling two, two characteristics of the ship. And then I finish off. Now everybody should be down to just their last officer, which is a dual officer for everybody. Okay, and I get what I get. Okay, so here's the first one. There's the second one. There's the third one. Notice, you see, he's 28, which is kind of low, huh? I mean, but you look at this guy here. Then. Okay, once again, I add them up, okay? So he's got 61 in total. And then 45, 55. He's got 58, so he's still the best officer, even though his um, boarding skills aren't the greatest. All right, and I take him there. Okay, so I add up. I just add up. You just add them up if you have any 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 doubt, and um, you'll see that the that the that the guy who's at the top of the list is your best one. Now, when you start, like I say, once you start getting down to these kinds of numbers. That's a total of 56. I mean, you should be looking. You should be looking down here to see if you've got... And, and the first guy in your recruits will be the best of all of them. So, you know, this guy, 25 and 19, that's 44 in total. Okay. And so this guy is clearly better. So once again, I take him. But if that guy had been in a recruit, I would have bought him. Okay. So... Once you start getting to the lower numbers, all right, set yourself set yourself a a minimum that you want, okay, that you think is good for your crew, and then and then 
and then every and then check out and see okay so you know for these guys the best next one that I've got has 44 okay and and you can see that this guy is clearly better um, this guy has got 46 and this guy has got 44 okay so all of those officers will be better okay than anything else that I've already got so there we go and we upgrade so and there we are and we finished um, um, putting our officers together on our ships um, it's like I say um, for some folks it doesn't make a whole lot of difference but I think if you're playing on I think if I think if you want to get the best out of your crews okay there has to be a time when you don't accept just whatever midshipman is just sitting there in the queue because he's free all right and you do need to spend some money on getting better officers so you have to have a way of how do I actually put my officers into the ships and this is the way I've done it okay I mean I mean if you want the Virginia to be absolutely the best ship there is okay yeah you can put the four best ones right from the start okay and these numbers will probably all be at a hundred but by the time you get down to uh, uh, Saratoga her numbers are going to be really low eh? so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spread my leadership around okay I see this guy's boarding is quite low even though he's got 500 you know but he but I gave him um, that's why he's got um, uh, sea sur service muskets with bayonets okay and and there will be a variation of course you know but I mean all of my crews are three stars all of the you know they're all well officered in my opinion they're ready they're combat ready and um, so and and that's how I do it now now when you go to your troop ships believe it or not and once again you might think oh well this doesn't make a lot of difference okay but you know and here I've got two officers that I need to replace and once again when you when you click on them it's gonna tell you who's the best one okay who's the best one now I'm looking at this guy here and he's got 65 in efficiency okay but the problem with your with your um, uh, fusiliers or or um, marines is that they have they're going to be using the characteristics of one guy they're going to be using all of his, his characteristics from one guy so what you need to be doing is you need to be, actually if you can afford it don't buy a cheap guy here yeah? okay because because these guys can get these guys can get pretty expensive replacing as you go through the campaign and you have to fight one battle after another battle after another battle okay so I mean I mean okay now I, I can't afford it but look at look at the difference that this this makes here okay now let's try somebody else let's try this guy down here and watch those numbers and you see those numbers just drop dramatically okay so so you know just because he's cheap doesn't mean he's good all right in most cases most cases that number one guy right there he's your best officer okay all right you mean you know I mean that's just the way it is okay he's got better melee skills okay well maybe you want a better melee skills this guy remember remember that these things a lot of these things are capped by your efficiency so so for for example um, if your if your discipline is higher than your efficiency, you're in, it's going to be capped by um, by how much efficiency this officer brings to the um, unit. Okay. So let me see here. Go back here. So let's take a look at this guy. All right, and let's look at his numbers. All right, and you see that this guy is pretty good, huh? Sixty-one intelligence. 61 56 56 36 is firearms is low morale 35 is low and stamina is pretty darn good at 45 and you see that you see good um, you see good good
good numbers here. And remember also, remember also in the marine side, okay, is is don't be really go crazy with the morale, okay, because the higher the morale, higher the morale of the unit, okay, the longer they're going to just stand there and get shot at. So if you have a unit that's sitting there and there's somebody shooting him and he's outnumbered, let's say two to one, or, or and in, in, this, in this game, for example, in the last land battle I was in, I was up against some sharpshooters who I couldn't even see until I was up on top of them and they were just shooting me up like crazy because I couldn't see them, okay? And, um, and if my unit had a really high morale, I mean, they just sit there and they were just taking it and taking it and taking it, okay? And uh, until, you know, half the unit had been destroyed before they, before they ran. And you don't want that. You, want, you, don't, you don't want that high a morale if, you, if, it, if, it, if, it's not po if it's really not necessary. I mean, if you can, if you can do with a little bit less morale, then do a little bit mor less morale with your Marine Corps, okay? And that is why this first perk I always put as endurance and not morale, okay? Because like I say, the higher the morale, the more likely they're just going to stand there and take it in the face, okay, for your Marine Corps. When, you're, when you talk about your Navy, that's quite a different thing, okay? Here you want that morale really high. You want that morale high because... Um, because if their morale drops too much, they may they may just surrender. Okay, so you don't want them to surrender, do you? On you know in your ships, so morale number one in in on your ships, but um, but for your but for your um, uh, Marine Corps, try to keep the morale from getting too high, and believe me, an extra ten here. Okay, if I put morale there, it would take that number up to 92, and these guys would just stand there and just get slaughtered. So anyway, <coughs> that's a quick tutorial, an advanced um, officer tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you um, learned something from it or, or at least see a different uh, point of view. It doesn't take long to replace all of your officers, and I really think it makes a big difference. You'll sometimes be given a ship, and, that, and, and, and believe it or not, a lot of times those ships that you're given have very good officers on them. So you don't, you know, so you're given a ship, and now you have all these really good officers, spread them out, you know, and make sure that everybody has got um, a good crew um, with good officers. So hope you, like I say, hope that you found that, if nothing else, interesting from a point of view of how I, um, when the, the way I um, put my officers. And, um, and thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.